was on last Monday morning, just at the break of day, when the good ship called the Cumberland laid anchored in her way. And the man upon our lookout to those below did say, I see something like a housetop on our leeward she does lay. Our captain seized his telescope and he gazed far o'er the blue. And then he turned and spoke to his brave and loyal crew. That thing which yonder lies floating that looks like some turtle's back is the infernal rebel steamer and they call her Merrimack. Our decks were cleared for action and our guns were pointed through. But still she kept a coming up across the water blue. And on, still on she kept coming till no distance stood apart. When she sent the ball a humming, still the beat of many a heart. It was then we pulled our broadside and unto her ribs of steel. And yet no breaking her iron made, no damage did she feel. Till at length that rebel pirate unto our captain spoke, saying, haul down your flying colors now or I'll sink your Yankee boat. Our captain's eyes did glisten and his cheeks turned pale with rage. And then in tones of thunder to that rebel pirate said, My men are brave and loyal too, they're true to every man. And before I'll strike my colors down, you may sink me in the sand. Well, the Merrimack, she left us then for a hundred yards or more. Then with her whistle screaming out on our wooden side she bore. She struck us at our midship and her ram went crashing through. And the water came a-pouring in on our brave and loyal crew. Well, our captain turned unto his men, and unto him he did say, I never will strike my colors down while the Cumberland rides the wave, but I'll go down with my galleon ship for to meet a watery grave, and you, my loyal comrades, you may seek your lives to save. Well, they swore they never would leave him, but would ban their guns afresh. Poured broadside after broadside till the water reached their breasts. And then they sank far down, far down into the watery deep. The stars and stripes still flying from her mainmast's highest peak. 